Thank you very much for providing me the floor. It's an honor to speak on this event. Uh, last week, we celebrated the anniversary of Revolution of Dignity in Ukraine. Eight years ago, people came out against the corrupt authoritarian regime that decided to stop European integration. They fought to live in a country where everyone's rights are protected. The government is accountable and controlled. The court are fair and independent. And the police don't crack down peaceful student demonstrators. And they paid a pretty high price for it. When the authoritarian regime broke down, Ukraine was given the opportunity to undergo democratic transformations. This was a direct danger to the authoritarian Putin regime. To stop Ukraine on this path, Russia occupied Crimea and launched a hybrid war in the Donbas. Thus, if during Euromaidan events we fought for our democratic choice, now in this war with Russia, we are fighting for the rights to have a choice as such. Ukraine faces two challenges. First, to build stable democratic institutions and to survive the war. Democratic transformations are hampered by occupation and war, the weakness of state institutions, low public legal awareness, and sometimes irresponsible attitude of the ruling elite. At the same time, maintaining alt alternation in government, democratic elections, and strengthening local communities as a result of decentralization reforms, as well as even small but positive changes in a number of indicators of the Freedom House annual report nations in transition under these difficult conditions is a significant achievement. This year, Putin published an article outlining his vision of Ukraine's history. He denies uh, the very existence of Ukraine and claims that Ukrainians and Russians are one people. The question that arises is why this article has appeared now. Probably because Russia is currently concentrating troops near the border with Ukraine. And according to intelligence reports, it's preparing to attack by the end of generally beginning of February. We all live in very inter interconnected world and only the spirit of freedom make it safer. There is a civilization war between authoritarian model and the values of democracy. And Ukraine is one of the core bridgeheads of this war. I think that United States, together with its European allies in this situation, must now publicly articulate a package of serious comprehensive sanctions to be imposed in response to Russia's new aggression in order to raise the price for a potential attack. Also, the United States, together with its European allies, needs to develop a long-term strategy to support democracy and economic growth in Ukraine. Given the large number of democratic feedback around the world, we need to redouble our efforts to strengthen Ukraine's democratic transformation. Ukraine's success will have an inevitable impact on the entire region where freedom in some countries is reduced to a prison cell size. I often mention the words of my colleagues, Russian human rights defenders. When I ask them what we can do to help them, they keep saying, be successful. Thank you very much.